the news we can prime so now the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, that is KEMSA, cancelled a scheduled news conference to explain reports of new scandal involving the tendering process for mosquito nets valued at 3.7 billion shillings. While KEMSA remains tight-lipped, uh, insisting that it followed the procedure, new revelations are emerging. Gloria Milimo reports. Hardly a year into review of its systems and reforms to break from an ugly past, KEMSA is back at it again. This time round, on the multi-billion shillings procurement of long-lasting mosquito nets for use in the fight against malaria. A Global Funds Audit Review report released earlier this week flagged the procurement irregularities which saw two companies awarded tender despite not meeting the qualifications. An insider told KTN News that there was multiple procurement gaps, including pagination, contention on requests for manufacturing certificates from a manufacturer, and lack of uniformity in identifying the winning and losing bids, forcing Global Fund to cancel the tender. The sources said there's more to what transpired in the tendering process and that powerful political forces were behind the awarding of the tender that has yet again tainted Kenya's image among the international donor community. Had the tender for supply of 10.3 million mosquito nets sailed through, the authority would have earned a total of 370 million shillings. 8% of the 3.7 billion shillings translating to 295 million shillings would have been from distribution and warehousing charges and 2% or 74 million shillings as part of the procurement fee. Kansas top leadership seems to have downplayed the impact of the cancellation, claiming that the amount is a drop in the ocean as it does business for Global Fund valued at 30 billion shillings annually. In yet another defense, the Drug Supply Authority stated that the nature of the tender was an open international one. Hence, the reason why one of the companies was untraceable on the Kenyan registration of companies. By the time of filing this story, KAMSA had not issued a statement on the allegations as it had promised to do today and also cancelled a press conference it had called. Gloria Milimu, KT News. Thank you.